Hi, my name is Sudhakar Raja. I'm the CEO and founder of Trust Score, the world's only human risk mitigation platform. Today, we're going to talk about artificial intelligence and how it's going to have an impact in the HR and HR tech industry. HR tech, the artificial intelligence, if you think about it, there is a lot that is being spoken about today. Chat GPT is making waves. Uh, there are a lot of people who are afraid that their jobs are going to be lost because of Chat GPT. There are people who are thinking that, you know, what is going to be the future of artificial intelligence in the HR and HR tech industry, if you like. Let's first take a couple of things out of the way. Are jobs going to be lost because of artificial intelligence and whether all that is going to happen? When is it going to happen? Let's talk about that, right? First of all, this artificial intelligence as it is, is a nascent stage at this point of time. It is not that tomorrow onwards, you're going to be, all your jobs are going to be lost, it is not going to happen. It's going to take another five to 10 years at minimum to get any sort of change that is going to be happening in the industry because of artificial intelligence in the first place, right? So let's talk about what are the things that are going to be coming in in using artificial intelligence, what can change and what are the kinds of jobs that are going to be impacted and that too not now, but in the future, right? Artificial intelligence, if you think about it, it's going to start from the recruitment process. Today, if you look at it, a candidate comes in, applies for a job, going to your portal, applying for a job, and then once he applies for the particular job, a person looks at the resume, figures out whether this candidate is a good person or not, calls for an interview, and then the hiring process starts. This entire process is going to change. Artificial intelligence, if you look at LinkedIn itself today, if you look at it, it's starting to make recommendations and say, hey, you know what, this might be a good, if you're looking for a job, as an example, LinkedIn will say, hey, you know what, here is a good job for you based upon various criteria that is available to you, if you like. Now, this is going to only improve depending on the types of jobs that you apply, based upon your characteristics, based upon your profile. It's going to start recommending jobs in better ways as a, as a matter of fact. Then when a candidate is applying itself, it's going to start saying, hey, you know what? Why don't I prepare a fantastic resume for you, right? Now, this beautiful resume, believe it or not, is going to make it even more complicated for recruiters to even figure out whether this candidate is a good candidate or not, right? Because he's not the one who's prepared the resume. It's the artificial intelligence, the AI, which is preparing the resume for him or her and giving it to the recruiter in the first place. So how does one even filter out and say, hey, you know what? This is the resume that is going to be a perfect match for me in the first place. So again, it's going to remove those, you know, it's going to make it more complicated because if AI starts fighting a war with another AI, what will that look like? right so i give you a resume which is prepared by ai another ai is going to figure out whether the resume that i that is given to me is actually a good candidate fit for my particular position or not in the first place right so now all of a sudden you got more complications coming out of the storyline if you think about it right so that's going to be the first challenge that is going to be happening, right? You know, because ultimately people who probably don't even know how to type English is going to say, hey, prepare a resume for me and out it goes. And it, that resume will look as beautiful as anybody else's resume. It may not even be comparable to your skill set. You will say, hey, you know what? I have this particular skill set, prepare a resume and poof, out comes a resume in the first place, right? So it's going to become a little bit more as, as in things when go today. The current position is, People are not going to be, uh, you know, able to do that much. But in reality, as and when it becomes popular, this is going to be one of the trends. Then again, after the filtering process comes in, people are going to say, hey, you know what? Why don't I ask? Because this is going to become complicated as we speak, right? So first is the match of that resume to the job description that I have and figure out, hey, you know what? How is that going to, uh, is this candidate a good candidate for me in the first place? Then after that, it's going to say, hey, you know what, let me do the interviewing or asking him questions, for example. It's going to say, hey, you know what, tell me the answer to various questions that I basically post to you and how fast you answer and how proctored can I get it? Make sure, making sure that I don't cheat on that particular exam that I have. Then people are going to, it's going to ask you questions and say, you know what, answer these few questions for me. And once that questions are answered, then it's going to figure out whether you're good to match for this particular job description or not so that filtering process is definitely a place where ai is going to play a major role a and that is 
not only that it is also going to help you a lot more today for example uh, how good looking resume is it could actually change the way you get a job for that matter you have a fantastic looking resume the likelihood of you getting hired becomes that much greater but now all of a sudden once i have an assessment that is going to pick up and say hey you know what this is a good candidate for you then it makes life a lot more easier for that particular ai to say that so that proficiency test as we call it can become much more helpful and that ai can help you in filtering out the candidates who are not a good match at that particular point of time if you like and the proctoring of it because we don't want somebody cheating on that particular proctor, uh, proficiency test in the first place right so that's going to be another place that's going to be helpful then once they come in in reality people video analytics is going to change the way you look at the hr right for example as a person walks into your office for example is a person tense is a person looking like as though he's got some other things in mind for example right is he productive if i start monitoring the workplace environment for example how many times did you leave your desk for example how long were you doing your work for that matter all of this could start all of a sudden become today it's a very manual task to monitor and figure out all these things but in reality as ai becomes more and more adept in ants in looking at all these things imagine being able to look at this particular person sitting over there and working and figuring out whether this guy is being productive or becoming unproductive at the end of the day and there are a lot of tasks which are today done manually that is all going to be completely automated in the first place right so that is going to be another challenge for that matter so as things go by you're going to have the hrs having a different position a different change um, if you look at the us and how the industry changed if you look at it so before when when people started outsourcing jobs to india they thought that oh you know what the entire american economy is going to crumble crash blah 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 there's a whole bunch of stuff that was spoken about but that is going to change because you know what uh, if you look at it from that time to now people have upgraded the chain jobs description people have started doing different tasks rather than what they normally do and that positions which got outsourced still exist but at the end of the day in a different level basically managing those people and so on and so forth it basically changed the way you look at it similarly artificial intelligence is going to change the way you do business but at the same time there are going to be newer positions and newer changes in your job description as you look at it that's what is going to happen so you're going to have different ways of doing the same thing or rather different you're going to do different things not the same thing that you're doing today and how well do you adapt to that adapt to that how will you train yourself how will you do all that stuff is very very critical and it's important to change with the times and not try to force it or, or not try to resist it if you like because this is this is going to be every organizations um, today has to has to worry about all these things at the end of the day so number one coming to the workplace how are we going to be looking at you how are we going to look at engage and how are we going to measure productivity how well can i engage with you as an employee for that matter right so when you're sitting over there can i uh, computer systems are going to start asking you hey you know what can i help you do this and it's going to say hey you know what i think you need a break right now go take a break because i feel like you're tensed up right now you're not doing your and, and the kind of productivity that is there is not that so go take a break or you could start saying hey you know what you don't look healthy go take a look at an exercise or go start looking at the blood pressure it sleep monitoring there is a whole bunch of stuff that the ai can start looking at it and start measuring things in a different way and thereby producing a different work environment in its entirety if you think about it and all this is not going to be happening today it's all going to be happening of years from today probably you know 10 15 years is what we're looking at and at that time it's going to be happening right so again that's going to be another change that you're going to be happening over there and productivity measures performances everything else is going to change today you have a lot of people who have problems with how people are measuring the performance of an individual you have discrimination based upon race uh, ethnicity <clears throat> you have uh, gender bias there is a whole bunch of stuff all this can actually be done away with if you look at it from an ai perspective because it doesn't look at race it doesn't look at color it can all of a sudden change give you a real input of the kind of a person that you're dealing with rather than having to worry about all these personal biases in fact that is what the companies are going to want as well because the humans by themselves are little bit unreliable if you think about it right so people tend to come in fraud there's a whole bunch of stuff 
wherever there is a involvement of humans and how to control that environment is something that every business is going to think about because it is going to cut, not only cut on cost it is going to cut on the processes business efficiency all this is going to go up using ai and that is something that are going to be very critical when they're going to be looking at it and see how to use ai to the, to measure the productivity of that entire workforce that is going to be there as well right so that is going to be another critical place where people are going to be looking at it and of course ai could be used for the good and the bad things right the good and the bad the good is hey you know what there is going to be productivity increases there is going to be all these beautiful lovely things which i spoke about removal of gender bias and all that stuff the bad thing is it is also going to be impacting the way that we look at jobs as a as a whole right so if you think about it you know our companies could use it for the wrong reasons too right because all of a sudden there is data that is available over there which is which could be used against you as well so it depends the ai has the good and the bad and how far we you know look at the balance of the two is very critical in order to understand the potential uses and the misuse of such information if you think about it and over control to ai is also not a, is is a bad thing right so you cannot overly dependent uh, dependent on artificial intelligence because ultimately we still need to do business with humans who's going to pay you the money it's going to be a customer customer is definitely going to be a human it's not going to be that ai is going to buy the products from you at the end of the day right so you need to be careful about where you draw the line and how far you go along with the ai model at the end of the day so because we still need consumption and the consumption is going to be definitely happening with humans as well as a part of that industrial line if you like so at the end of the day we all need to worry about now jobs and will it be affected will there be any changes to that industrial line that let's let's take a look at that particular part because everybody's fear is just that right i mean ultimately what are people uh, writing about this ai and how things are changing and how much are they going to be impacted and all that stuff people need to upgrade their skill sets to a great extent right in fact uh, the people who are who are in the in the junior to mid level careers if you look at it are the ones who are going to be mostly affected because ultimately they need to upskill themselves because these these tasks which normally a uh, human being uh, would do which 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 could be an inefficient human because they're just coming out of college for example they're just getting trained for that matter all these people are the ones who are going to be very vulnerable because ultimately companies are going to say hey you know what why should i waste my time with these kinds of people instead let me ask ai to do most of this task which is a beginners level task because that is easiest thing to do right what would you give a a, a normal an executive right because you would ask them to filter out a resume push the email talk to the candidate all this stuff that you're talking about all this is the ones that are going to be going away so how are these entry level people or the executives what are they going to do what is the new task that they're going to be doing if at all they're not going to be doing this exist, existing task and that is where the key is and it's very important that they upskill themselves to come up and do something better than just doing that right ultimately people have to understand that you know what if these are going to be done by an artificial ai machine ultimately what is it that you are going to do at the end of the day right so it's important that people understand that they start love they start taking up tasks which they love today if you look at it, most of the people take up jobs entirely based upon what their family feels like you know hey you know what i like doing this or rather i'm i will get a job and then so i will do it but that's going to go away right i mean that's going to be you, you you should love what you do and then only you will succeed in what you do at the end of the day so it's important that people choose tasks and or just choose the career based upon what they love because those are the only people who are going to succeed because people who just said oh you know what i'm going to do this just because i went there they are all going to be replaced by machines or whatever right so that is very important for people to understand that this is something that is going to change the way we are, we have an outlook towards if you like so coming to the we spoke about we spoke about recruitment we spoke about the in how uh, ai is going to look at your productivity we spoke about how uh, you know people are going to be looked upon in their performances and how they are going to be looking at the performance evaluations at the end of the day these are things stuff that we spoke about and another thing is also about retention it's going ai is going to be looking at how well can i retain this talent right so if there is a problem it's going to start giving you these red flags for example i'm not very engaged with my in my organization at the end of the day it's going to say hey you know what this guy is not very engaged the likelihood of him leaving the organization is going to be very high 
right? It's going to start predicting that particular analysis and say, hey, you know what, this. So you will be able to figure out that, hey, you know what, people who are trying to hide that in the first place will not be able to hide it because if you don't like what you do and you're you're doing whatever you're doing ultimately is ai is going to recognize that this guy is not as engaged as he, sh he should be within the uh, platform and start pushing notifications saying that this is not this is not something that is going to be happening at the end of the day so that is going to be changed so retention is going to be another key component where it's going to start engaging with you trying to motivate you in fact it's going to be used as a tool too if you think about it it's going to motivate you to say hey you know what why don't you you know do this i think you're what do this hey you know what i think you need an engaging career for example you might be interested in more salary for that matter if you start looking for jobs are you starting to apply for jobs are you looking for anything else it's going to start looking for indicators which will then say how am i going to retain this particular talent and provide you with more feedback than what it what exists today and how will we adapt to the particular technology is very critical as well so that's talking about the retention component of it trying to see how we ai can actually be very useful in trying to retain talent as we go along and move this process as well if you like so the next component is after the retention is done the guy is getting promotions everything else and and all and if he's going to continue if he's going to exit the company at the end of the day it's also going to see how to mitigate risk if you have done committing any fraud if there is anything else again you know we in trust core have started to use ai to figure out predictive analysis as to the kind of people who could be potential people who will commit a fraud for example or who are committing certain things as data comes in there is going to be more and more analysis that we ourselves are doing to figure out for example the likelihood of a fraud being committed as an example uh, what are the processes that could be changed for that matter um uh, and as analyzing the behavior from different points of data that is coming in as a part of it as an example and because we're going to use that data can be used for so many different places for example the guy who's committing a fraud here as an employee for example is the, is there a repayment in behavior in a bank as an example or is an insured for example would you commit a fraud as an insurance in an insurance claim um, and what is the likelihood of you doing it uh, or what is the likelihood of you becoming a a, a person who's not who's not going to be very truth, trustworthy trustworthy and those kinds of analysis we are starting to use in our own technology to figure out how trust core can help in building that ecosystem of trustworthiness and using ai to start doing predictions on those, those kinds of things is something that we have started doing ourselves if you like so as the journey of that person goes along there is going to be a lot of things and these are exciting times if you ask me it's not it's nothing to fear about if you ask me it's going to be more exciting to see how we evolve as human beings we how we change the way we look at things and uh, and uh, in short term i don't see anything major happening but in the long term this is going to be an exciting time and we look forward to seeing that as well thank you very much bidding adieu